Hi, we're here today to talk a little bit about the use of descending devices and today we're going to demonstrate how you set up to use one in particular called the sequelizer. Um, the sequelizer is a, a bit unique because it, it operates on a pressure sensor and there's an adjustment here and you can set for multiple depths. Right. And this device is designed to take your fish down to depth and release the fish automatically because the pressure sensor will pop at a designated depth. An easy way to set this up, um, there, there are multiple ways, but an easy way is just to take a sizable lead, something between one and two and a half pounds, simply tie any knot that you tie works, that's just a basic fisherman's knot, make a secure knot with your lead. Come up the line, this is not the only way to do it, but this is an easy way to do it, and pull a loop and tie what they call a figure eight knot, which is two times around, and it just makes a secure loop that won't slip. The next thing you wanna do is take the clip of the sequelizer, which comes, it comes with this type of clip, and simply hook the line through the clip, and you've got a secure connection. And keep in mind, when you're using a descending device, the idea is to work quickly. The, the longer the fish is out of the water, the lower its chances of survival. So you really want to get this fish clipped on here and sent down in 15 to 20 seconds. A little bit about the rod. You're going to be reeling up sizable lead. So you don't want to put this on a spinning rod or a small conventional rod. You need a, a big heavy rod that you can easily reel up this lead. Um, in terms of hooking the fish on the sequelizer, this has a mouth grip. And it functions like this. You open the jaws put the fish on and close the jaw securely. So we'll, we'll put one on. We've got a vermilion snapper here for demonstration. So you'll take the fish, you just get on the lower jaw and clip the fish on and it should lock securely. And you gotta make sure it's locked securely. And then you're ready to deploy the fish, which is a matter of just lowering the fish down.